Hello, cats and kittens. Mr. Brew here, rocking your world with another Monday morning book. This one about a dog, and he's a stray dog, which is a coincidence because the name of the book is The Stray Dog. But before we get going, eyes watching, ears listening, voices quiet, body calm. Alrighty, The Stray Dog. Well, what do you see eating inside a bag of old garbage? A stray dog's bat. His back is right there. There's the family getting ready. It looks like they're going on a picnic. They get the barbecue packed up. They're ready to go. It was a perfect day for a picnic. The boats are on the water. All the cars and buses are passing over the bridge. It was a beautiful day. What's this, said father, over here. It's a scruffy little dog, said the mother. He looks hungry, said the girl. I think he wants to play, said the boy. The children played with him and taught him to sit up and he named him Willie. That kept playing all day until it was time to go. They fed him hot dogs, they tossed the ball, they made him sit. He fetched sticks. He brought the ball back finally. He was getting to be a good tame dog, but at the end of the day, let's take Willie home, said the children. No, said the father. He must belong to somebody, he explained. They would miss him so much if he just never came home again. And so they drove off trying to say goodbye, Willie. Goodbye. way home, the girl said, maybe, maybe Willie doesn't belong to anybody. Well, all during that week, mother, father, and sister and brother had one thing on their minds, Willie. Monday, they thought about him. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. They kept wondering, what happened? I wonder if Willie is still there. Look, father is so distracted. He's pouring his coffee and it's spilling out. Mother's not watching the stuff on the stove. It's burning. The boy misses a pop fly. Obviously, he's in right field. Well, Saturday, he put a plate out. And they went to their picnic, hoping he might come back. And they waited. And they waited. And they waited. Willie, they all cried when he appeared. But Willie didn't stop. He was in a big, big hurry. What was he running from? The dog catcher. The dog catcher chased him with a net and he ran around the lake. And who was following right behind him? Father and brother and sister and mother. They were all chasing after him. He has no collar. He has no leash, a dog warden said. This dog is a stray. He doesn't belong to anybody. The boy broke off his belt. Here's his collar, he said. The girl took off her hair ribbon. This is his leash, she said. His name is Willie, and he belongs to us, even though Junior's pants are falling down. So he let him out of the net and sister and brother ran back to camp. Well, they took Willie home, and that night they gave him a bath for flea and ticks. They soaked him up good. He didn't like it too much, but he still went for it. They gave him shampoo, and after that, they introduced him to the neighborhood where he met some very interesting dogs. Look at all the different kinds of dogs there are in this neighborhood. That looks like Mr. Bruce. And Willie, well, he finally settled in just where he belonged, in a dog bed at their home. The end. So here's my question, guys. In this picture, it's the first picture of the dogs at the park. Can you look real hard 
and see if you can count how many dogs are in that picture. Okay, I'll be back tomorrow. But until then, remember, be good to your folks and wash your hands. Bye-bye.